haven't seen the whole interview. I'd like to see what else she said. I'm sure there's some other pearls of wisdom in there. Uh, she did an interview with uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates. Ta-Nehisi Coates is probably the most influential African-American um, intellectual in the United States today. He is an interesting guy and a, a very good writer, uh, even if you uh, dislike a lot of what he says. He is very mixed in terms of what he does say. But here he is asking uh, Cortez about billionaires. Oops, let's see. It is moral for individuals to, for instance, do we live in a moral world that allows for billionaires? Is that a moral outcome in and no, of itself? No, mm -hmm. it's not. Mm -hmm. um, it's not. And it's not. And Notice I think the crowd it's, response. it's important to say that I, I, I don't think it's not, it, that necessarily means that all billionaires are immoral. It is right. not to say that someone like Bill Gates, for example, or Warren Buffett mm -hmm. are, are immoral people. I do not believe that. But I believe. Well, he kicks his dog. Or right. Like yeah. That, right? I, I don't. I don't. I'm yeah. not saying that. But I. Notice that, that morality, morality conventionally, is viewed as, you know, you're immoral if you kick your dog, you're immoral if you lie, steal, or cheat, you're immoral if you, uh, you know, hurt other people. That's the standard of immorality. Very different than the objective standard of morality, which, you know, which places a huge, huge emphasis on what you do with your life and how productive you are with your life. So the attitude towards somebody like Bill Gates is and and and, uh, and and Warren Buffett is so different, not because they don't kick their dogs, but because of what they have done and what they have achieved and what they have produced in their lives. It's exactly the fact that they become billionaires, which is suggestive, not a proof, but suggestive of virtue. And to them, of course, it's meaningless. So let's let's hear the rest. I, but I do. But notice how good she is on, on, on her feet. I mean, I'm sure this, this is not a rehearsed question. Um, she's good. She, she, gives the, she gives the answer that her audience expects, the answer that I think she believes in. And she, dist she makes sure not to make it a personal attack, particularly not on those very large billionaire um, Democratic donors, uh, but generally on, on, on people that she might actually like because they're philanthropists and so on. Uh, but yeah, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates also happen to be good Democrats. But she's she's good. And now, this is I mean, this is the highlight, right? I'm not saying that, but I do think a system that allows billionaires to exist mm. when there are parts of Alabama where where people are still getting ringworm because mm -hmm. they don't have access to public health mm -hmm. is wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think it's. It's wrong that, uh, I, I think that it's wrong that, that a vast majority of the country does not make a living rate wage. Mm -hmm. I think it's wrong that you can work 100 hours and not feed your kids. Mm -hmm. I think it's wrong that, uh, that corporations like Walmart can, and, and Amazon can get paid, they can get paid for the, by, our gov, by the government essentially experience a wealth transfer from the public for paying people less than a minimum wage. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's, it not only doesn't make economic sense, but it doesn't make moral sense, mm -hmm. and it doesn't make societal sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we I have to tell you guys, she's good. She's dangerous. You got to watch her, and she's going to set the tone for the Democratic Party for the, for the next few years. And if you think Republicans have an answer to that, they don't. Because what was the criticism on Fox News to what she said? Well, they made fun of the fact that she said that in Alabama people get ringworms. And, and one of the commentators said, well, what's a big deal about ringworms? I mean, people don't die of ringworms. Right? That's, that's the level of criticism. That's the level of discussion. And notice her critique of Walmart and Amazon is paying minimum wage, of not paying the so-called living wage. That, that's straight out of Tucker Carlson. She must have been listening to Fox News before she did this. 
straight out of Tucker Carlson. So if you're going to, if you're going to be able to criticize what she has just said, if you're going to criticize Elizabeth Warren's proposal for wealth tax, which we're going to get to in a few minutes, you're going to have to do better than that. You're going to have to make a moral case for a system that allows for billionaires. Because her argument wasn't the billionaires are bad. She's not even saying the billionaires are thieves. Although we'll get to her, one of her economic gurus actually did say, I need to find that tweet, but did say that, um, that uh, billionaires are thieves. But she did not say that. She actually said, you know, they could be nice guys. But she said the system that allows them to exist, the system that makes it possible for them to exist, is an immoral system. It's an immoral system. And of course, she's proposing a 70% marginal income tax rate on all income above $10 million with an attempt to stop people from becoming billionaires and redistribute the wealth to those people who need it, to the people who are not surviving on a minimum wage and the people who, I guess, are good ringworms and the people who are poor and the people who are needy. So to actually combat her, to actually fight her views, you're going to have to be able to attack the welfare state. You're going to actually have to make the case that the welfare state, redistribution of wealth that she is proposing is immoral, is wrong. How many politicians are going to do that? So she wins. She wins because nobody is going to challenge her. Now, I'm going to do a series of stuff on uh, Cortez because I'm going, to, I'm going to take on her Medicare for All. I'm going to take on the uh, Green New Deal. We'll take every one of her proposals and analyze them. We'll do the same. We're also going to do the same with Elizabeth Warren.